A concussion or traumatic brain injury can cause extensive damage to the meninges, the protective covering that lines the central nervous system. Meninges include the cerebral spinal fluid and blood vessels, which cushion the brain and spinal cord and provide them with nutrients. Studies have shown that damage to the meninges can lead to cell death and brain tissue underneath. An MRI image taken 25 hours after head injury shows leakage of a bright dye along the edge of the brain, indicating damage to the meninges. In an MRI image taken five weeks later in the same patient, the bright dye is gone, suggesting that the brain's lining may have healed during that time. In fact, NIH researchers led by Dr. Dorian McGavern found that this healing took place in 83% of patients who showed vascular leakage in the lining of their brain following mild traumatic brain injury. To investigate this unexpected finding, Dr. McGavern's group returned to the lab and used a mouse model of concussion to study this process in detail. This shows what happened 24 hours after injury. Blood vessels in green were heavily damaged and their contents labeled in white leaked out into the surrounding tissue. Four days after injury, blood vessels started being rebuilt and the lining of the brain was almost completely healed seven days after injury. Restored vessels took over the gap created by the injury and experiments suggested that the blood vessels were fully functional. Then, Dr. McGavern's group wanted to know how all of this took place. Using state-of-the-art imaging tools, the researchers filmed what was happening in the mouse following a head injury. This video shows the initial damage following injury. Green dots, which represent dead cells, begin popping up as blood flow is blocked in the pink blood vessels. A cleanup crew, made up of immune cells called inflammatory monocytes, rushes to the area to clear away dead cells and debris. Here, green inflammatory monocytes swarm around and eventually convert into macrophages that eat dead cells, shown in red. In this close-up, the macrophage engulfs a dead cell. After a couple of days, once the area is cleaned out, a repair crew, made up of a different type of monocyte, arrives to start repairing the blood vessels. In this image, the cells in green gather at the edge of the lesion and help blood vessels, in white, regrow. Next, Dr. McGavern's team looked at what happened to the mice if there was an additional head injury. The researchers discovered that timing mattered. When the second injury occurred at least four days after the first hit, the lining of the brain healed and blood vessels were restored. However, if the second injury occurred within 24 hours of the first one, there was more activity by the immune cleanup crew and more inflammation at the injury site, but the normal repair process did not occur and blood vessels were not correctly rebuilt. For more information, please visit the website of the National Institute of Neurological Disorders and Stroke at www.nindus.nih.gov.